Hi, here I am again. I'd really like to share with you a breathing technique I've been working with that I'm calling sensory breathing. And it introduces you to the sensations of breathing in different parts of your body. I don't like breathing techniques. I don't like four, six, eight breathing. I don't like treating someone and, and saying, can you breathe into your belly? And they say, oh, diaphragm breathing. And they do a mechanical thing. I, I don't want people to do mechanical breathing. I want people to experience breathing. And I'd like you to listen to what I have to say about breathing and feel it with me. There's some interaction involved here. So we're just going to breathe and relax our whole body. And you can have any position you'd like, sitting, standing, lying, whatever you like. And I'd just like you to find that comfortable position. And you'll breathe to your toes. Just breathe to your toes. And while you're doing that, I'd like you to think of a feeling, a word, a something something that feels so i've had people say heavy i've had people say light i've people had people say grounded breathe to your toes whatever you feel happy sad lonely busy whatever we're going to move to the lower legs breathe to your lower legs Whatever feeling, whatever sensation, whatever description comes up will be right for you. We're going to move to the upper legs. A whole different part of the body. Breathe to the upper legs. Get a sense of them. How do they feel? How do you feel? When we move to the pelvis, we're going to visualize the hip joints, the coccyx, the tailbone, and the pubis at the front of the pelvis. Breathe to those bony areas of your pelvis. Just breathe to there. What are these feelings? What's the sensation? What is this? Who are you as you breathe to your pelvis? Just take a big in, just let it out. We're going to move to the belly button, the umbilicus. And I'd like you to think about your belly button, your umbilicus. And it has been the place for the umbilical cord. And when you have an umbilical cord, it's a very strong connection. It's connected to your mum and it's also connected to your liver. And when the vessels of the umbilical cord are no longer needed in the way they are as vessels, they become a supportive structure that connects your umbilicus, your belly button to your liver. So let's just think umbilicus, belly button, front of your tummy, <sighs> liver. What does it bring? Who are you? What's the sense? And from there, we'll go to the heart. Breathe to your heart. Feel what it is in your heart. Who are you in your heart? No judgment. Whatever it is, it could be love. It could be somebody said, I feel a barrier. Warm, cold. What's your word? We're moving to the hands and I like to think that the blood flow to your hands is quite close to your heart. There's not much impeding the blood flow from your heart to your hands and what we do with our hands in the world. 
that the blood flow to your feet has a lot to get through to your feet. So just feel your hands, what it might be to connect your heart to your hands. What's there? How does it feel to sense the breath and the connection in your hands? We do connect the world a lot with our hands. Move to your throat, just breathe. Hmm, we could make some sounds. Ah, oh, we could breathe and sound. You make whatever sound you like in your throat and sense, feel, no judgment. What's in this throat of yours? A lot of people tell me about tension. I feel my throat feeling a little tense as I talk. We're going to move to the mind and the brain. Where is the mind? Assuming it's somewhere near the brain. Your brain, your central nervous system, your brain, your spinal cord. It sits in a beautiful bath of cerebrospinal fluid, just the most beautiful fluid. Dr. Still, the first osteopath, said that the cerebrospinal fluid is the highest known element to man, and I agree with him. When I treat babies, their cerebrospinal fluid, their central nervous system, even if they've had trauma, is so open and accessible. And when I get a baby in a position to breathe, they breathe whole body and it feels as if there's a beautiful perfusion of cerebrospinal fluid and central nervous system energy flowing all around a baby's body. If there's not, it's really nice to help it happen. So just feel sense your brain your spinal cord your central nervous system breathe to it breathe to it there's so much stress out in the world and i think when we react to the world and we're stressed by the world we discharge discharge through our sympathetics, nervous systems, sympathetic, autonomic nervous system, and our central nervous system loses some of this openness and it, it closes down. And, and I, I, I think the nervous system membranes wrapping around the brain and spinal cord, I think they tighten, I think they lose some of their permeability and I think they the perfusion and the wholeness of our person our wholeness central nervous system connecting to our body becomes separated by the stress the sympathetic shock the fight the fright the fear and the shutdown and the survival and the all of it so Come back with me. Sorry to take you on that little little ride there, but just come back with me to the mind, the brain. Be permeable, be open. Be, just be. Be calm. And then be whatever other feeling you have in your mind. I'll give you a few minutes. We want to sit here. And let this beautiful mind feeling, this beautiful perfusion of cerebrospinal fluid, see if you can get it all the way down through your throat, through your heart, through to your hands, through to your belly, through your organs, through to your pelvis, through to your legs and into your feet and into your toes. Thank you. Thank you for 
joining in today. I hope you enjoyed it. I will bring more as I as I can. And I hope to see you soon. Stay happy and well. <laughs>